Hi, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to convert the video file into image sequence inside the Blender. And also in this video, we are going to see how to import the image sequence, which we have converted in the previous video. And also we'll see some camera length. First of all, if I want to import the image sequence, we have to go to add and we have to go to the VFX and we have to select this motion tracking workspace. And this is a workspace for importing the image sequence here. So now if I want to import that, just we have to click on this open and we have to browse the files. So now this is a sequence file which you are going to use. So now in order to import just you have to press A so that it will select all the images and we have to click on this open clip. So this is a video here. So if I press space, you can play the video. And now we need to do some settings in the color management. So if I go to the render settings and here, if I go to the color management, you can see defaultly it has been loaded with the filmic. So here I will put it to like standard here so that we can see the proper video. And also if you go to the output properties here, you can see the frame rate of the video and now defaultly it has been loaded with the 24 frames per second. So here whenever you select 60 or 120 only the thing is here the playback speed will be little bit fast and right side you can see there are some settings which we need to do before tracking here. So if you're not able to see these options you can press N so that you can see these options in the right side. So as I said like before tracking we need to do some settings. So if you click on this track here you can go to the objects and here make sure it has been set to camera because as we want to track the camera movements in this video here. So that's why we have to set it to camera. So if you expand these options here, you can see there are some lens settings here. So this is the option where you can select the camera model. In case if you know the camera model on which the video has been shooted, then here you can select the preset of that camera. So for example, if you select any camera here so automatically it will set the sensor at present i don't know which camera has been used for this video so i will put it like in default settings so down here you can see there is an focal length options in case if you know what type of lens you have used when you're shooting the video then according to that you can set the focal length and it will be in the millimeters here so in my case i don't know what kind of lens has been used in this video so i will put it to default so here in the left side, you can see there are some options and when you go to the track tab here, you can see there is an option set scene frames here. So when you click on this set scene frames here, so here the timeline will be set according to the footage frames here. Suppose if the video footage is like 300 frames, then automatically it will set to 300 frames and we have exported the total video in 250 frames. So now at present the timeline has been set to 250. And also next whenever we play the video, the video will not play smoothly. Uh, depends on your system. So what the thing is if you want to load the video perfectly, if you don't want to buffer the video, then we have to click on this prefetch. So what this prefetch will do is it will completely load the video. So if you click on this, see it has been loaded. Now whenever we play the video, the video will play smoothly. Now we are good to go. In the next video, we will see how to track this footage.